Campi Flegre, an Italian volcano that last erupted nearly 500 years ago, is becoming more volatile and could erupt again, a new study suggests. Located in southern Italy, Campi Flegre's last recorded eruption was in 1538. The Campi Flegre caldera cluster, or fire field, is made up of overlapping volcanic features, including a caldera, a dome, and a cinder cone, according to NASA. Geologists from the University of College London and Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology published a study Friday that used modeling of recent earthquake activity and land uplift to show that the volcano is stretching almost to its breaking point and could rupture. Predicting when a volcano will erupt is not a perfect science. Scientists use techniques including looking at a volcano's eruptive history, seismographic detection of earthquakes and monitoring ground deformation and changes in gas emissions to predict when an eruption will occur. Earthquakes and tremors almost always precede an eruption, according to the Smithsonian's Global Volcanism Program. And the study authors say Campi Flegre has the ingredients for an eruption. The volcano has been whirling for more than 70 years, and tens of thousands of small earthquakes have occurred, along with uplifts in Pozzuoli, Italy, that have stretched the volcano's crust. The team used a model based on the physics of how rocks break apart to begin predicting the volcano's behavior. We first used the model in 2017, and since then, Campi Flegre has behaved as we predicted, with an increasing number of small earthquakes indicating pressure from below said study author Christopher Kilburn of UCL Earth Sciences. We now need to adjust our procedures to predict the possibility of new routes being opened up for magma or gas to reach the surface. One of the biggest clues was observing the earthquake patterns, which suggested that the rocks at Campi Flegre were breaking apart, rather than stretching. The study found that the maximum pressure that Campi Flegre can withstand before it breaks when stretched is about a third of what it was in 1984. We can't see what's happening underground, said Stefania Danese of INGV Bologna. Instead, we have to decipher the clues given by the volcano, such as earthquakes and uplift. The study suggests that parts of the volcano are weakening and that earthquakes are causing fluids, such as magma or molten rock and gas, to move beneath Campi Flegre. Even with all the hints of a future rupture, the team says that doesn't mean it will happen. The caldera forming eruption at Italy's Campi Flegre 40,000 years ago was the largest known eruption in Europe in the last 200,000 years. But little is known about other major eruptions at the volcano before the more recent caldera forming event 15,000 years ago. A new geology article by Paul Albert and colleagues discusses a 29,000-year-old eruption, here verified to have come from Campi Flegre, which spread a layer of volcanic ash over 150,000 square kilometers in the Mediterranean. Knowledge of large explosive eruptions is largely derived from geological investigations of exposed deposits found around volcanic sources, with deposits from large eruptions forming thick sequences.
However, since the late 1970s, widespread volcanic ash layers, dated to around 29,000 years ago, have been commonly identified in marine and lake sediment cores from across the Mediterranean, documenting a major eruption. Despite their widespread distribution and relatively young age, no clear evidence of such an event has been identified at any of the major active volcanoes in the region. In this study, the team's detailed chemical analysis of eruption deposits found 5 kilometers northeast of the Campi Flegre caldera in Naples, Italy, is fully consistent with the typical composition of these ash layers. This, combined with new dating of deposits near the eruption source, proves that Campi Flegre was responsible for the widespread ash layers. <laughs>